this sort of thing, we can, we can go on discussing it, but um, there's something I would like to try along the lines of what I was uh, uh, describing before. Um, so what we do in, in rehearsals for growth is we have, uh, you know, this is really a more conventional therapy situation where we're talking, and I'm sitting here typically, and you guys are on the couch. And then when uh, we do any kind of enactment, I use the other end of the office mm -hmm. and have you come over there. And when you're there, you're free to explore what it's like to not necessarily be yourself. Sometimes I'll be actually assigning you a character to play that's not you. At other times, I'll simply ask you to do something which is perhaps different or unusual um, and uh, to see what that's like. This does two things. It gives me information about how you interact with each other, and it also gives you a sense of what it's like to interact with each other in a way that might be different from what you're used to. Okay. So the first thing I would like to invite you to try is what I call a mirrors or mirroring exercise. So in this exercise, one person is the leader and the other person is the follower. Okay? And the roles will switch. I'll call the word switch. And at that point, the leader will become the follower and the follower will become the leader. And the role of the leader is to initiate continuous movement. So you move, you know, not kind of sudden, abrupt movement like that, but movement where you're flowing. The movement is slow but flowing. It keeps going. Okay? Mirrors is easy to explain and undemanding to perform. The first rehearsals for growth enactment introduced to a couple should be relatively easy so they will have a success experience with enactment. The premises of mirrors are ones of cooperation, alignment with the other, and turns taking regarding leadership, all qualities that promote good relationship functioning.